Arctic. Does your school have a drug problem? Well, let's see what our third finalist, Son Aker, did about their drug problem. We took 40 students in which 34 were tested positive and we took those and brought motivational speakers to the school and with the help of a principal referred a counsellor to help us. We also raised money for ourselves and decided to take the children to a motivational camp where they learned leadership skills and how to better themselves. We have started in March with a positive 34 learners and now we are in June with only 8 learners testing positive. This has been a great improvement. Um, learners have learned that education is important, important and if they want to become something in life they're going to have to take pride in the schoolwork. Right about now I'm sitting with Suzek and she is actually a product of YCAP. She actually used to attend YCAP when she was in grade 10 and now she's an engineering intern in the construction industry. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks and you? I'm very well, thanks. Now please tell me how has YCAP impacted your life, um, being a part of it? Um, it was quite nice because it, it learned me a lot of um, elements like okay. being confident, being a leader and knowing basically what to do in terms of when you um, identifying a problem in your community, which are the necessary steps that you need to follow, mm -hmm. how is it to um, talk with the young people, you learn the technique of how to think, to have the logic of young people and how, how to tackle a problem when you see it in terms when it comes to Nice, people. I love that, just being solution orientated. Yeah. Like there's a lot of um, youth projects at Mfuleni, involve themselves, even if they don't go more frequently, but they go just maybe once a week, mm -hmm. trying to, to, to learn how p um, young people face with their problems, because there's get togethers where people, mo young people motivate each mm -hmm. other, they um, tell their stories to young people and how they tackle it through, where they um, motivate each other and, and find solutions and do better things with their lives in okay. our community. Well done to Suneke, hi! So obviously the big winners of the day have to be Son Aker! And of course guys, they won for their amazing project and the results that they are seeing in their school. So tell me, how are you feeling? I am feeling fantabulously good. Oh wow, what about the rest of you? Oh my joy, baby, stunning! Amazing. Okay, now what did you guys win? Um, a plate ticket. ticket. Now you, you guys are going to Paris, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Not Paris, but they're going to Paris. So you've got the plane ticket. What's in the bags? Um, oh, a beanie. <laughs> <laughs> and a pen. Can you keep us home and my journal? <laughs> oh wow, this is really, ticket. really amazing. Now I want to find out from you guys what does this mean for your for your school? Um. It means um, our school is issue for new heights. Mm -hmm. Our school is stop. It's gonna be. It's gonna stop being um, unpublicized. It's gonna be public now. Um, we just aim for new heights. Yeah. Nice. And what happens when you get to Paris? Um, get a lot of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is the na the nationals the that are happening. Yes. So you'll be competing against people from Limpopo, Gauteng, yes. yes. Eastern Cape, all, all over. Places. Sure, guys. Congratulations. Thank all you. The best. Thank you. Woo! What an amazing event. Guys, if you want to catch up with YCAPS on Facebook, make sure you go to our website, hni.co.za, to find out more. But for now, back to you guys in the studio. Nine, nine, hectic. Nine, nine, hectic.